He grew up before him like a tender shoot, like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire in him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom we would hide our faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. He took up our pain and bore our suffering, suffering that we deserved. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. There is more to this story. The story of how God chose to reveal his glory to people whose hearts are greedy and full of stress and worry. He took the crown of thorns laid upon his head, all the mocking you could imagine. He suffered and died for you, yet you chose to ignore him. You see, Jesus died to save you from something deadly, your sin. But there is still hope because this is not the end. God sent his son to die and rise again, rise again because of this world's sin. And when we see him in the story of God's redemption, that will truly be the end.